He's here again, and what has he brought me this time? Other than more loud dance music. A little Kia Picanto. Let's have a look, see. So, Saturday morning, guys, already had a couple of messages on the note. Someone wants to come and see it today, and if it isn't sold today, someone wants to come and see it Sunday. Um, had a message on the KA, so I'm potentially to come and see that in a bit. But let's have a little look at the uh, car that Adrian just dropped off to us yesterday. You'll see it's a lot dirtier because, as per the golden rule, I drove it home and back last night to check that it all runs okay so that I'm not putting money into something that's not worthwhile. So what have we got? We've got 62 plates, so late 2012. Kia Picanto, and I believe it's an Equinox, is it? Yeah, Equinox. I bought this privately from Facebook Marketplace off the pictures and the description and conversations with the customer. Then I sent Adrian up to go and pick it up. He did the basic checks of driving it around the block, making sure it goes in all the gears okay, making sure all the toys work inside, that kind of thing. And there's no major damage that I wasn't made aware of. There is damage, a uh, very small amount. There's this ding here, quite a nasty ding there that I knew about before the car got here. I have been onto my dent guy, but again, he reckons he's not available for like a month. I need to find some dent person in North Devon that can come out and do my cars quicker than that so the question is do i sell it with the dent in or do i try and fill and spray myself black is mm, you have to lacquer the whole i'm gonna do black i need to lacquer the whole door i don't have an option of uh, part doing it so i have to lacquer the whole door if i'm doing black because blending black is an absolute nightmare so we'll have to decide what's best to do on that front sorry that was landlord just checking that um we had a problem with the roller shutter yesterday checking that it got sorted um, so yeah, so uh, where was I? Yeah, I need to find a dent guy that can do the dents on shorter notice. It's a bit of a problem having to wait that long. Yeah, so I, I say drove it home back and forth. So get me yourself back to where I was. So yeah, so Adrian picked us up, private seller. Um, it's got a nearly full service history. It's just missing the last couple of services, but I'm told that the um, lady's husband serviced it because I do notice that the MOTs have been done at trade rate, so I can only assume he's a mechanic but I think I'll do my own service so I can then stamp the book for our service and then it'll only be missing one service I think it's an Equinox like I said which seems to be I don't know much about the Kia Picantos but it seems to be pretty rare and it seems to be a nice spec you've got these diamond cut alloys um, you've obviously got colour coded bumpers you've got this twin exhaust on the back there but the big thing I think just check the front end and see there's much different on the front end. You've got the, the front spots and a bit of red around the grill, satin finish. But the big difference, I think, is probably this leather interior, which is pretty unusual for one of these little cars, isn't it? And then we've got Bluetooth with voice dialing. We've got the auxiliary iPod and USB inputs, air conditioning, CD radio. So really nice spec'd out car. And apart from oh, electric mirrors, electric windows, so oh, and it's also got keyless start stop, which is pretty cool. So apart from that ding on the door, overall it's in really good condition. Even the alloys, which normally diamond cut alloys, normally as a general get destroyed, but this one's pretty good. There's a bit of bit of minor curbing on the edge of that, but I've lucked out there really. This did come to me with a new MOT on it. Um, I have to say, I think. Uh, sorry, it had an MOT, might have had an MOT a month ago, and it, it warned that all the tyres were pretty low. The front ones have been done, they're new. So it's got new front tyres, but the back ones are very low. They're on the wear indicator, so I'm going to have to do the rear tyres on that. And also, I don't know who passed this on an MOT, but we're sitting here with the handbrake on. I can move the car. No, I know I'm immensely strong, <laughs> but no, at the end of the day, that shouldn't be happening. So we need to uh, need to adjust the handbrake. I can see that it's like new pads on the back. So I don't know if it just needs some adjustment from the handbrake end of things, but there is a lot of travel in it before it engages. So need to have a look at that. Interior wise, all the leather's in good nick. It doesn't seem to be any damage to it. You can see the old MOT was done recently because all the seat belts are still in. <laughs> Carpets are in good nick. So this will all come up really nice. Don't see any problems with that at all. 
drove in this morning with it pretty much up like that. You must have to do that to lean back a bit. There you go. You know, gear knobs in good condition. I say all the buttons work. We tested all of that. Yeah, should be a, should be a little little crack of going. Then look in the boot. Let's have a look in the boot. Oh, the Kia badge is a bit flaky, which I don't like. The lacquer's coming off, but it looks like I can peel it all off completely and then polish the paint behind or re-lacquer it. I know it's a minor thing, but it'll do my nut in that. Carpet could do with a bit of a clean in the boot. And we've got one of those horrible inflation kits. And that all needs a hoover out in there. But overall, again, much better than the crap I've been getting from BCA recently that needs so much work. Quick look under the engine bay. All looks honest enough. Are these chain driven? I don't know. I think they may well be chain driven, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So it's a chain driven engine, so we don't have to worry about any cam belt side of things. I checked the oil off before I set off yesterday, and it's uh, it is a little bit under full, but not much. And but the colour of it's super clean, so it does tie in with me that there has been servicing going on by the owner in between. Well, I say I'll do a service anyway, just so I can stamp the book and be confident. So there, that looks all right. I say the coolant level is where it should be as well. I'll check that if I drive it. Yeah, I say drive drives absolutely fine. Drives real nice. So yeah, should be. A good little seller I would have thought perfect first time car for someone that's got a little bit more budget than my normal stuff because I think this is probably a 4-2 car I'd say maybe 3995 is the resting place but I think it's probably a 4-2 give it a good clean a machine polish get it looking all sparkly get a photo shoot done outside the unit try and get that up today um, knowing that I need to get the handbrake sorted I'll do that in between but get it marketing straight away now I know it drives okay other than that. And then get it down to fill and get some rear tyres put on it. If I can carry on doing it this way, I will. It is very laborious buying cars on Facebook. I will say that and, and the other platforms because obviously the thing with BCA and the other auctions is the car's there. You look at it, you look at all the photos, you look at the report, you put your bid in, you leave it, you go back, you see if you've won it, then you arrange pickup. With this, this game, you're messaging people far and wide you're waiting for a response to come through you're asking another question then you're waiting for a response to come through again and they've gone out and then it's the following day before they come back to you they don't know the information they've got to go and get it they haven't taken detailed photos of the car so you need to ask for more information on that they haven't put down information about things like service history then you've got to try and liaise with them as to when they're going to be in so i've got to send adrian up and and in liaise on the exact time that they're going to be around to pick up the car you're going to go sort the payment for them you know and you've seen the problems i've had with that as well whereas obviously bca you just make the payment online so it is more laborious buying cars this way but then so far i've seen better quality i have absolutely no doubt i will get stung at some point but luckily i've got an adrian who is prepared unlike other pickup firms would be because they wouldn't know me from adam to do basic checks on the vehicles before he loads them up so he does have a little drive of them he does check the basics of working on yeah and i would never hold him accountable for any vehicles that came with a problem because that's not his business but he obviously over time he's getting to know more and more and more on the basics so that's really useful so a massive shout out to adrian again we haven't done this for a while have we shout out to adrian a and k van services you will find him on facebook a and k van services if you need anything picked up and bringing down to the southwest or taking back up from the southwest give that boy a bell get him on the facebook uh I'll try and put some links in the description below. He's a total legend, 100% reliable. He's one of those guys that if he says he's gonna do something, he does it. He's there when he says he's gonna be. And he is just, all my customers, when they when they, when they, he goes and gets the cars from him, I always get messages back going, oh, Adrian was lovely, he made it super smooth and easy and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, credit where credit's due, guys. The news, I've ordered the rear beam for the i20. As you guys said, it's not a hard job to do i've done it before on other stuff i can do it on that axle stands i don't need to be such a prima donna i need a lift to do it i'll get underneath i'll douse everything in wd-40 beforehand the beams come in it's 100 130 quid but i've ordered it was a bit more expensive than the other ones but the reason i ordered this one is it still had all the brake pipes and handbrake cables and so forth on it the brake pipes specifically i want because i know they're a bit crusty on this one 
and it would save me a load of time reforming brake pipes and so forth so hopefully i'll be able to plug it straight in again and yeah i can do it on axle stands and i needed to buy an impact wrench anyway a new one a dewalt one and for the difference in the labor cost of having somebody else fix this i'm i'm actually covering the cost of the dewalt tool and i'm going to be giving you guys more content and you get to laugh at me struggling and bashing my knuckles and all sorts of stuff so that should be a bonus i was going to get peter to come along and help me but i'm struggling to get hold of peter at the moment he's uh, working flat out with stuart so we might have the reintroduction of scotty boy so you old school guys will remember scotty boy he's been working full time at an engineering firm but he says he can come and help me on saturday so that's probably good that's probably about as much help as i need to be honest maybe one other day a week would be ideal I've got some more cars coming in from subscribers, hoping to say those to you soon. Thank you so much all you guys that are messaging me with offers of the cars before you go and part exchange them in or give them to we buy any car or whatever. That's absolutely a day. I know we, we can't be exactly on the same page every time. I do have to factor in the cost of getting the car to me. So those of you that are offering to drive it down, brilliant. Kettle's on. We'll have a yarn and um, get the deal done. So yeah, so thanks ever so much for thinking of me on that front. Um, some really good stuff coming from there so that's helping me a lot but we've got um, we've got to get this 500 ready today as well so yet again on a day I thought that perhaps I you know got these cars ready I thought I might get chill out a little bit I'm flat out again and I still got to get them out and paint the floor in here because the stuff's arrived to paint the floor so guys the Nissan Note got messages as soon as it was listed I had people that wanted to see it today and see it tomorrow. First person that came along has had a test drive in it and purchased it, paid for it outright straight away, all paid up for, so not picking up till next weekend though. Bless them, they'd bought a mini from a private seller. So all you guys out say private sellers are better, I find dealers dishonest. They bought a mini from a private seller. Four weeks later, the head completely went on the car um, apparently when they test drove the car they wouldn't let them drive it they had the heater on full when they were driving it and they hadn't thought anything of it and within a couple of weeks it was overheating and when it went in a week or so later went into mini to have it checked out and the head was completely warped on it so she had to sell it spares or repair so luckily she had the common sense to go and look for something that she knew had great reliability records and Obviously, having taken this out and found what a great drive it is and looked at the history and so forth, it was uh, Dad was with us, so Dad came out for the test drive, three of us out in it together, went for a good long test drive. Everyone was sold on it. So, yeah, it was the right choice for her. You know, this is the thing. The minis look great. They're fun. But this is the right choice. If you want something that's going to give you no headache, this is the kind of thing you want to go for. So, yeah, another nice car. And it shows that it was worth taking the time on it i sold it for two i put it up for 2795 i did accept 27 for it um that is a lot of you out there said oh that's a two thousand pound car it's a 1995 the time i took into this and put into this car is what made it sell that quickly it wouldn't have sold anywhere near that quickly with the scrapes on it i mean it may be interesting to see how quickly it would have sold like that but definitely sold quickly on the condition of the car and the history so yeah a rare bca buy that was actually worth having. <laughs> so Picanto's had a basic wash. I put her away in here for the moment to dry off. I'm probably not gonna get around to cleaning her today because after the test drive on the note, um, I've gotta get this ready. I did promise to get home at a reasonable time tonight and I wanna go and check out a car for sale in Biddeford. So super close to me, won't have any transportation costs. I wanna go and see if that's worth buying and the buyer said I can pop down and see that this afternoon. So the 500, and the Kia Picanto are going to have to wait to get listed and see if we can go and score another deal on a car because I want to, I, like, like you all know, to justify the two units I need to be turning over more than more than 10 cars a month ideally even more than that um, but I wanted to be doing 10 cars a month so and the one that I'm going to see has just had a service and just had an MOT so again it should be something relatively quick to flip so that might be the end of this video thanks as always so much for watching uh, i know there's a lot of content out there for you to watch on youtube and the fact that you guys take the time to watch mine i really do appreciate it i appreciate all the comments and the tips you're giving me there's always you know every day's a school day some of you guys have been doing this for super long give me some of the best tips on stuff really do appreciate it again thanks to those of you offering me your cars 
and um, yeah just all round massive thanks to all of you and hope to see you again soon catch you later